All right, here we go again. This time, though, we're subtracting, so we're finding the difference of cubes. So the main idea here is that we hope in our hearts and in our minds that 8 is some number cubed. If we can just figure out what that number is. So we can split it up using a factor tree in the 4 and 2. If we look at the prime factorization, that should help us. But we may not know how to use that either. So, But right here we can see that 8 is 2 cubed. So 8 would end up being 2 cubed. X cubed is, well, just X cubed. So just strictly A is X. And in the expression, B is 2. So we're just going to replace all the A's with X and all the B's with 2. This one specifically is subtraction. So we can see subtraction will be in that first parenthesis. So let's go ahead and set that up. we got A minus B. Then we've got A squared uh, plus, rather, AB plus B squared. And... Once again, all I'm going to do is go in and replace the A's with X and the B's with 2. So the A's first will be replaced with X. And now the B's will be replaced with 2. That's X times 2, by the way. And then we got that 2 squared. So this one can be simplified just a little bit. We got X minus 2. X squared is simplified would want to reorder this just for formality purposes to 2x and then 2 squared is 4. That's it. You know what, let me... Sorry about that, was that was cute. Thanks for pointing that out. For that, Megan. As it turns out, right, you could distribute the x into this parentheses. And then you could distribute that as a negative 2 into the parentheses. It's FOIL, but with three terms in the 1. Um, and then when you do that, you should end up with x cubed minus 8. Which, this one doesn't look like it may give you that x cubed minus 8, but it would. Should we just do it? And that's why you need that first part. All right, so let's check. So this first distribution would give us x cubed. The second one would be 2x squared and then plus 4x and then distributing that negative 2 so minus 2x squared uh, minus 4x and then minus 8 uh, hopefully you guys can see that right there where this 2x squared cancels out that negative 2x squared and the 4x cancels out the minus 4x so what are we left with well looks like we're left with x cubed minus 8, which is what we should have had right here.